Hello everybody and welcome to Formula One 2013. This game turns 10 years old this year in 2023 and well none better time other than to check it out here well on that 10 year mark. A nice sunny day here in Brands Hatch. Check it out now. So I decided we're only doing five laps because I want to check out other tracks. We're going to be basically just racing all the classic tracks here in this video now. And I love this animation. I remember this when you climb in the car. The guy's going to hook us in with the steering wheel as well. It's absolutely flawless. The little things like that that I miss so dearly in modern F1 gaming now is we go into the quick car setup. I'm going to go, honestly, balance here, Brand Sash. Not very straight line heavy, so I'm pretty happy with right down in the middle, to be honest with you guys. So we're going to go into the race. We're starting P5, and... Oh, okay, that's cool. We also have a little radio transmission there. Intense music here on the grid. We're ready to roll. I have no experience driving yet in F1 2013, other than, like, 10 years ago when I got the game when it came out. Uh, so... I'm probably going to be a bit rough to kick this uh, thing off. We're on the white stripe tires. The game looks really, really good for its time once again. F1 always looked great for its time back in the day here. Now it's five red lights. Lewis Hamilton in front of us. Mark Webber up there at the front. I believe it's Alonso on pole position as Felipe Massa just behind now. And Massa's going to send one up my inside. We're underway though in Brands Hatch, which is absolutely an epic circuit. One of my favorite circuits to drive on here. And I'm going to get very aggressive. A bit of a lockup right there. Side by side we three wide uh, Alonzo not giving us a lot of room but it's our teammate of Weber oh some more contact right there immediately compared to F1 2012 uh, the AI feel a little bit more aggressive in F1 2013 and I'm curious to see how that is going to continue now as well if you guys are familiar with the channel we do the F1 2012 career mode every week we have a brand new episode and we are almost on that series with one more episode to go at the time of this video coming out and then after that we're going to be jumping into this game so I will be doing one more or maybe two more things still on F1 2012 before we actually fully uh, end it. So stay tuned on that now. You can absolutely fly these cars around this circuit. Absolutely insane right here. I'm trying to run down Alonzo, but I wasn't realizing just how quick you can fly and just haul the mail around Brand Sanchez. You're closing in big time. Look at the closing rate with the current deployment down into turn one. We go. Bit of a lockup right there. It's going to give him the opportunity to go for a bit of a, a switch back right there. There we go. And actually, our uh, engineer comes over there and gives us a nice little radio transmission. A little bit of oversteer there on the exit of the corner now. But we have to set our sights on our teammate of Mark Weber. You can just fly through here. I love this so much. Watch this. We're going to go down to like fifth gear and just keep it pinned. Oh, wow. That was terrible. We are closing in on Mark. I'm going to put the field to Rich here. I believe we got, yeah, we got one extra lap of feel and we got three laps to go. So we'll see what we can do here now. Down through turn one, getting through there really nicely. Uh, Alonzo a little bit behind us now as, yeah, this is the corner that's been catching me off both laps so far there and fast slap on the board though for us here and Seb now we are getting a taste of what it's like at the front of the field with the AI in the next race we're going to do um, actually a, a slower car to go towards the back and kind of get a taste for that as well I don't want to just be up front all the time so uh, we're going to mess around with both kind of ends of the spectrum and see what we can get ourselves into but we are closing in quickly on Mr. Mark Weber now I'm running the same AI setting that I do in 2012 but I think it might be a little bit too easy actually now that I kind of continue to get more familiar with the way these games drove back in the day and they're telling me to put the fuel mix back down so I will do that now as we are going to have two laps to go and we closed in hard on Weber I haven't been barely using my current appointment because I haven't really needed it very much here we go then let's go for the move on Mark Weber for the lead at the line thank you very much sir and we're gonna sail it off into turn one taking that lead from Weber the Australian teammate now try to not lock up the sound okay now I was just too cautious I can't I can't seem to get this corner down very well but nonetheless to the lead of the Grand Prix Mark Weber is not leaving me alone and I'm struggling right here now just trying to get hit my marks and you can see oh a little bit of a, a rough corner right there down to fifth we go haul the mail and he is all over the back of me this is not over by any means coming to the final lap we got through there really good though and now he's under pressure from Alonzo and Lewis Hamilton as well down through the final bend and pretty well through there could have been better could have been worse that's for sure but we're gonna have one lap of racing to go it only takes just over a minute here uh to actually get it around the circuit and i peeked down briefly at the right bottom and i see the feel is optimal still no it seems okay so i don't know why it's flashing but we'll wait and see i think we're gonna be okay a really really good 
corner right there and then we have this one more right hander in between ourselves and our first win in our first race actually here and we're gonna come through down this front straightaway to cross the line to win in branch hatch we'll take it like i said we're gonna go to the other end of the spectrum now we're gonna stick with the classic tracks but now we are going to go for more of a bank marker car uh for race number two Ready to go then, we are on the yellow striped prime tires this time. I've kept the AI the same because I want to actually be able to work my way through the field and see what the AI are like in terms of defense and whatnot. We got Valtteri Bontas and the Williams just in front of us now. He was with Williams for so long, but we're lights out in Hareth underway. I've done a video with F123 cars in Hareth on R Factor 2 a while back, and that was so much fun. This is a very fun track to drive, just like Brands Hatch. It is a very, very, you can call it a short track now as, oh, a little bit of oversteer. I don't know if I had contact with my teammate Max Shilton or not. Oh, there it is. Big contact there around was that uh i couldn't tell who that was was it hulkenberg it might have been now but nonetheless we survive at what cost it got very very sketchy right there now is oh huge incident unbelievable unbelievable crash right there we somehow survive it oh my god the ai gone rogue right there what a wild start here in her wrath that was insane but uh we'll move on and see what we can do here as I really actually dig the sound of this Marussia. Now, a lot of overseer on this circuit so far, I must point out, but my goodness, what a wild first lap here. Now, as we head down through the left-hander, such a unique circuit here, but I love it so, so much. And the final sector here is so quick now. You can see, here we go. You go through this right-hander, down towards these, uh, now you get like a sweeping righty going into that final turn. It's a really, really fun set uh, of corners right here that you just keep it pinned through and then you go down into this final turn here the left hander now as i try to close in but my braking zones now oh good heavens that's not what i wanted to do we got jean eric Vern all over the back of me and i am over here taking you know as many off track adventures as i possibly can now but now we keep it pinned so it's nice and easy for me uh but uh yeah i'm struggling actually to close in in this one here i'm really struggling with finding some comfort in her wrath now. That is for sure. I cannot really lie about that one now. As you can see, Vern, though, sticking with me. I'm trying my best. We only got three laps to go, though. Oh, I'm off track again. Oh, God, it's terrible. Go take the spot, Jean Eric, as I will try to stick with him. This has gone completely different. I do, what I do like about this car, though, in the Mauritia, it's a lot harder to drive than the Red Bull was, for sure, which I actually kind of like. I like a car that's a bit more difficult to drive, so, you know, you actually got to drive the car. Uh, but I am struggling for grip like crazy all Grand Prix long. It is certainly a challenge. Vettel going to pick up the win. You can see my tires, they don't look so good. <laughs> they are not looking ideal, as, but we only have a couple corners to go. Thank good heavens now as I'm using up them track limits, to say the least, now down towards the final turn. That was not a good one here. We're going to go to a midfield car uh, next for Imola. There it went. There it went. Those tires absolutely destroyed. We're just going to reverse across the track. Try to not be in front of traffic. But now, now we get stuck in this little thing right here where you try to do a seven-point turn now. But we get it back going. Yeah. Hereth was not it for me. We got some work to do going into Imola. But you know what? We still beat somebody who's out of the race. You can call me Jensen Button because I'm racing as Jensen Button. We're ready to go in Imola. We got two more classic tracks to check out here. And now, my good heavens, it feels like the nose is long as daylight's on this car. We're running a midfield car. Here we go. It's the McLaren Mercedes Vodafone iconic silver livery. We are underway in Imola now. I don't think we could have any crazier of a start than we saw in Hareth now. But, oh, this car is nasty sounding just loud i like it now as we come through the first chicane and overall not too bad adrian subtle there in the force india a little bit of contact actually he just had with hulkenberg this car i don't know it's got that sound to it it's got like a really in your face kind of sound a little bit of contact right there perez he's gonna go a little bit wide but we're all okay looks like everybody survives pretty well oh good heavens perez somehow does not get wing damage out of that hairpin collision with the back of Felipe Massa. Now, I'm going to try and put the fight to Massa. We're on these uh, prime tires once again. He's going to take a very defensive line. Can I go around the outside? You can do that same thing in F1 2012. They will just uh, kind of break really early and allow you to go for that overtake now. But it looks like they still, like I said, have a bit more fight to them now as the elevation changes don't feel as abrupt here in this game as they do in F1 22. Doesn't feel, I guess, uh, as accurate now. That chicane, while wow, that is... 
way different there and obviously current day that that is all pavement on our right hand side but overall a pretty decent start here now as we head down towards the final braking zones and of this circuit here Imola is such a fun track to drive I'm really a fan of it being back on at the F1 calendar now uh, as we come through to wait a minute Oh, this is different. All right. I was not aware of this. Okay, we have another chicane right here. All right, that's a bit of a change, but we, we survived it. Thank goodness I saw AI uh, heading through there. I got a big run on Groshan. I'm going to send one up the inside of the Lotus driver. Oh, my good heavens. He says, no, sir. I'm not backing out of it, but hey, fair play. I'll, I'm not going to back out of it either then. Oh, well, he backed out of it. All right, well, made it easy enough for me. Up the position we go. I am digging this track. I'm vibing hard with him and F1 2013 right off the bat now. Uh, but nice to see the AI just didn't completely bank out of it until obviously the next corner. Uh, they made it a whole corner that time. Another opportunity to make an overtake on somebody through this uphill left-hander. It's on Raikkonen this time. Not even a contest. Up into P6 we go. A little bit wide right there. That's okay. And now we can set our sights on the top five. I am rolling right up on the back of these boys here now. It's getting a little bit spicy. We've got Weber. I mean, there's a whole train of cars. We're setting the fastest laps here now. We went to Brand Satch. We were really quick. We went to Hareth. I was terrible. Now we come to you, Imola, and it's, well, we're really quick once again here now. So, uh, you can see, look at this scrap. Everyone's right here. Fifth all the way up into first. The two Mercedes out in front. Vettel's going to go for a move. This could get a little bit ugly. He's going to get overtaken by a teammate of Weber, and he's nearly going to get overtaken by me. But because he's my favorite driver, I decided to cut him some slack until this hairpin right here where I send one up the inside, and I'll take that position away. Thank you so much, Seb. But at the same time, I apologize. One lap to go then, I'm going to use a bunch of my curve deployment right now to try and get a run on Weber, but he's able to stay pretty nicely ahead of me, but let's see if he's going to leave the door open. Uh, he kind of did. I could have maybe sent it right there. I probably should have, because what is there to lose? Vettel just about runs into the back of me. He might have actually caught me just a little bit now, but I really should have made that move right there. But let's see if we can get Weber down into the hairpin here. He's going to go left. I'm going to go right, and we'll just go around the outside. Caught the grass a little bit, but that's not really an issue. So up into now fourth place we go. Let's see. I don't think we can run down Alonzo, but never say never. Not going to be anywhere close to enough, actually, now as we come through this final chicane. I'm going to go pretty deep into the chicane. Or maybe a little bit too deep. Yep, yeah, a little bit too deep there. Lewis Hamilton wins in Imola. We crossed the line. We'll take it. It was a good race, actually. P4, I'm very happy with that. That leaves us one circuit left for us to try. And it's a circuit I don't think I have ever driven before. We are here in Estoril now. This is a track I've never raced on at all. It's in Portugal. Uh, so obviously F1 is in Portugal here in the recent years, of course, with the pandemic. And it allowed them to head to Portimao. But we're on our way. Uh, Portimao, it's not related here to Estoril. Just the same country now with Portugal now. Here's we're underway down towards turn one. I have zero experience with this circuit, so I don't know what to expect. We're racing as Fernando Alonso this time in the Ferrari. I really like the design of this Ferrari from the T-cam here. A little bit of contact up there between Rosberg and I believe that was Sebastian Vettel. Oh, into the back of Hamilton right there. A nice blimp over there in the distance. Okay, we are going so slow through there, Lewis. I did not mean to push you through the whole corner, but it's just it is what it is. That time I completely locked up there. I don't think I damaged anything. Oh, good heavens. A little bit of wheel spinner right there. Like I said, I've never, I've never even seen a lap of this circuit, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. It's just really relying on the track map to kind of guide me around here, but so far, I mean, an interesting circuit. I don't really know if I like it or not yet, but uh, it's certainly interesting here. Now through the right-hander we go, and we got some houses here on the left looking very nice and friendly as... All right, okay, interesting. Uh, we're coming up on the final couple of corners, a bit of a lockup right there, but it's really an interesting circuit. I don't know how to describe it other than that word right there that we've already used a few times, but that is one lap, so it takes about a minute 20, it looks like, uh, to get around the track, but yeah, I, I'm on the fence with it so far. It's not bad, but I'm not a huge fan of it just based off of the start, but we got a lot of time here for more laps is kind of uh, really feel it out and try to make some headway on Lewis Hamilton, of course, now as we try to close in on him. And we got Raikkonen just behind us as well. I lost a bit of time uh, to the cars in front of us, but I'm now starting to make it back because I'm finding a 
bit more of a flow around this circuit, a bit more of that comfort level now, but we're coming up on two laps to go. We come through the final turn. I'm going to really cut this corner right here and just allow myself to do that right there. Close right up on the back of Lewis. Now use the rest of the current appointment. Should have an opportunity right here down towards turn one. He's got that straight line speed though. Come on, go up the inside. He's got slipstream from his teammate of Rosberg. And oh man, I didn't feel comfortable sending it right there. I don't really think I could have even if I wanted to. Sebastian Vettel fast slap of the Grand Prix. But we had an opportunity briefly, but it quickly went away. Let's just try to stick with Lewis right here and see if we can make a move. Here's our opportunity right here. He's going to go defensive, isn't he? Yes, he is. So I'm going to go to the right side of the track. I'll break him down into the corner and up into third place we go. Nico Rosberg, Hamilton teammate, next up on the list. Then is there a chance of running down Sebastian Vettel? I'm going to say very unlikely, but I'm really starting to vibe with the track. I'm going to do the same thing on Nico right here. Cut down on the corner. We might even get alongside him on the exit of the final turn. Yes, we will. It's going to be side by side. Down this front straightaway, we have a bit more straight line speed than him compared to what we had on Lewis. We will get clear. Final lap underway here in this F1 2013 10 years later video. And now, let's see if we can try and run down Sebastian Vettel. I don't think it's going to happen now, especially with Rosberg putting on some pressure as well. But we stay ahead of him, and now he's under pressure from his teammate of Hamilton. We know, you know, very, very much so they got along as teammates. I completely botched that corner there. Don't know what in the world I was trying to accomplish. Here we go through the final turn here in Estoril. What a fun game to play. I cannot wait to do a career mode season on this here in the next few weeks. But there it is. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line to pick up the victory. We, as Fernando Alonso, end up second place in car number three. That was a lot of fun, to say the least. Sebastian Vettel on the top step of the podium. That is... Our look at F1 2013, 10 years later. We have a career mode starting very soon on it, which I cannot wait to bring to you guys. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. This game is so much fun. I can't wait to play it uh, even more here in the coming weeks. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody.